Hey, what's up guys? So in this video, I wanted to discuss with you something that I've observed um, and that I call mass psychosis, mass brainwashing and manipulation of people's thought processes and even their own identities that has been going on now for decades. Um, the last four or five years have been very, very clear in how much power these methods of manipulation and psychological transfer have. Just think back to, you know, five years ago, how different the world was in so many different aspects. You could pick randomly and things were definitely different. People themselves were different. People you know, friends, family members, loved ones were different. Um, so many relationships have failed in these last couple of years, more so than ever before, because people have changed so much as a result of all of this outside influence. And I hate to break the news to you, but all of the outside influence I'm referring to are all negative ones. There are none that are positive. Um, anything that's broadcast to you through the mass media networks, anything that's allowed to be put on um, cable news, stations, anything that's allowed to be uh, made viral on any internet platform are all messages of the same content that are approved and allowed by the same people in charge. And those people are not people that are good. They are not people that care at all about us, about others, about humanity in general. Uh, these are very cruel and cold-hearted people who only care about themselves and their love of money and power. And that love is so powerful to them that it doesn't matter how much they acquire of either. They will continue in that goal to just conquer and acquire, even when it means taking from others. I'm talking about the type of people that have so much that they could never spend it in 10 lifetimes and still could walk past a oh, a homeless person, a starving person, women and children in need and not feel a fucking thing, not feel nothing, not feel, have even a thought for a second that maybe I should give them something. You know, uh, whatever I have in my pocket is nothing to me. To them, it'll change their lives. Not only are they not that type person, which is hard to understand for me, but they go to a much worse extreme they would actually take from those people as well. The people that are already starving and with nothing. If it means them acquiring more power, more money, more influence, more popularity, if that's their thing, they will take. That's the kind of people I'm telling you are in charge of the entire direction that the world's population goes in. And they are clearly in charge of the entire narrative as it's told to us. The story of us as a, as, as a species, humans, that we've been given. The story of the last few hundred years, um, the stories of conquest and wars and all these things. <laughs> Even Darwinism is something I'm not gonna get into now, but so many bullshit, foolish things um, that we've been taught and told and we've been made to believe are fact and true when they're not, they're not. Okay, so the intention, once these people came together and decided that they wanted to put a plan in place to take things over and to suppress and keep everyone else down, their main motive was always, from day one, to keep us divided as a people and to keep us ignorant of who we really are and what we're really capable of. That's their greatest fear. That's why our whole entire history has been washed away and repackaged and given to us in the form of the dumbest fucking bullshit story. I, I can't even imagine something more stupid than what we're told and expected to believe is our history as a species, as human, as mankind. It's, it's foolish, all right? And we have the potential to do so much. Each and every one of us individually has that potential. There, there's no one that's special above others when it comes to that. We all have the potential. Some just have to go 
much, much further in their sacrifice in order to attain it. And that's the key to this whole thing. You have to seek out greatness. You have to seek out and be willing to pay a price and sacrifice a lot, so much, things you don't want to sacrifice in order for you to become and develop yourself into the kind of person that you should be. In my words, a godly person, all right? The kind of person that could never be like one of those piece of shits that I'm talking about. The kind of person that doesn't need to even think, but would automatically help and extend a hand to another. The kind of person that is trustworthy, respectful, reputable, right? The kind of person that can be counted on and trusted. This is what matters. That's the kind of person you want to be in life. A person who has genuine kindness in their heart. A person who is not in love with money, not in love with themselves, but actually cares about others. It doesn't matter if you know them or not. I see children all the time. They're not my children. I don't know who they are. I don't know who the mother or the father is, but I care for the child because that's what it is to be a man. If, if I see an opportunity that I can help, I will help. And I'm not suggesting that everyone has to be the same as me. It's, you know, everyone is their own person and there's no better or worse. This just happens to be the character that I have made for myself, that I've insisted I be since a very young age. One of honor, one of dignity, one of respect, and one that can carry himself with his head held high anywhere. You're not going to find anybody that's going to be able to say any bad shit about me. That I fucked them over, that I lied to them, that I betrayed them, that I backstabbed them. That's not going to happen. And I say that to you because I want you to understand how important your word is, your reputation is, your character. Don't fuck it up. You don't get any take backs in this. You know, trust is one of the most powerful things in life if you have it from others. But it's also one of those things where it's very, very fickle. You break trust once, it's done. You could never, ever, no matter how much time passes, no matter how you've proven yourself, you can never repair that trust to the point from which it once was. You can regain trust to a certain extent, but you'll never have it the way it was. So don't ever break your word. Don't ever fuck up trust. And be a person of respect and dignity in how you carry yourselves. I know it's tough. You know, the world we live in is just fucking filth, man. Everywhere I look, it's fucking filth. Anywhere. In public, on TV, radio, internet, every fucking thing. Even children's shows and movies I try to watch with my kids and my family. They're all fucking filth. They're intentionally putting in filth. And things that are just degeneracy, not decent, not good, not appropriate even for kids, not appropriate for anyone even. So they're poisoning us. They're poisoning us with this information and the media and everything that they're hitting us with are all distractions to dumb us down and to keep us unaware of what I already mentioned, our own true origins and abilities and power especially if we come together but also to keep us blind and dumb to the fact that those in charge our elected officials even are fucking burying us in every way financially economically morally you know just as a society as a people you know we've become you know bankrupt in character look at the people look what's become acceptable it's disgusting to me. I can't, I don't even understand how the fuck people are just okay with the way the world is or their particular inner circle world, the people that they're close to. You know, I don't expect anyone to change the world, but you can damn sure change the fucking people around you. Or if you can't influence them in the right way, then get them the fuck out of your circle, out of your life. That's, that's, that's the way it is sucks it may sound mean it may sound cruel but that's how it is if you're not able to maintain a certain level of character respectability and dignity you're not going to be around me ever and you guys should hold yourselves to the same standard as well don't let fucking losers be around you don't let people who are just fucking indecent or below you be around you don't let sinners be around you dirty people you know just have more respect for yourself you know, everyone that you allow around you should be someone who you could look to and say, this is a person who is 
a, a decent person and who's respected no matter where he goes among any circle. And if you can't say that, then you're just having random bodies around you for the sake of company. You shouldn't do that. It's better to be alone. Better to stand alone than to stand among fucking cowards and people that are just going to bring you down in life. So it's bad enough that we have all these intentional influences to fuck us up. The last thing you need is having actual people around you who are also going to bring negativity to you and maybe prevent you from bettering yourself. So I know how difficult it is when it seems as though the entire world is going in one direction and I'm here telling you to go in the opposite direction. But that's what it is. That's what it's always been. That's what the fuck separates the great from the commoners. In anything in life, academically, physically, you know, whatever achievement it is, you have to be willing to pay a serious price. You have to be willing to go when people say you can't. It's not possible. You have to be willing to stand on your own principles. You have to. Don't compromise your principles. You know, just thinking back these last couple of years, so many things happened where people compromised their principles in unbelievable ways. They let the government tell them what to do, what to put on their faces, where to go, what medical interventions to take. I mean, I didn't understand it from day one. From day one until this moment, my feeling on it has always been the same. No one has power over my life to tell me what the fuck to do, especially not with my own family, my children. It doesn't exist. That man, that woman, whoever it is, that entity does not exist. And if it does, I ask them to show yourself, motherfucker, and we'll find out if you really are that person that can dictate to me by force and tell me what to do. Let's find out if I have any fucking fear in me enough that I'm going to just bow down and obey. It's not going to happen. So think about things, guys, outside of the narrative that you've been told. Don't. Listen to the bullshit. Just use your own common sense. You know, the things that you believe in life are not things that you should have only heard or have been told by others, whether they be family, elders, educators, news, public figures, whoever. They should all be things that you have heard and then researched yourselves, put thought into yourselves and come to your own conclusion on your own. That is what your beliefs should be. And that applies to everything across the board. What you believe about every fucking thing should never ever be something that you just heard or something that everyone else just accepts as commonly, you know, true. That's 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 how this fucking mass brainwashing continues and prevails because people don't question things. And to those that do question things, the masses point fingers and criticize them, make fun of them, call them conspiracy theorists, whatever. Stop thinking that the people in charge of you are with your best interest. They are not. Stop thinking that governments are here to help us. They are not. Stop believing the bullshit that these people in power give a fuck about you at all. And open your eyes to what I'm telling you. This entire thing that they're doing has one end goal in mind. It's always been the same. It's total control. Total control means that they know where you are at every moment of your life. They know what you're doing. They're able to know who you're with, where you go, what you buy, how you spend, how much you make, everything. What you read, who messages you, who you talk to, they're going to know everything. And they're going to have the ability to shut down your access to your own finances, your access to the ability to drive your own car, everything. Anything you could think of. You know, thinking back to, you know, George Orwell, 1984, what's happening now is 1984 on fucking steroids. It's so much worse. It's unimaginable. Because of the amount of technology and how fast that technology has progressed and is being used against us. And you're not even aware of the technology that's being used against us because they're not sharing that with you. They're years ahead of us as far as what the common people know. 
The average person knows, you know, they, they, they release something, uh, AI, chatbot or something, chat GPT, and the people think, wow, this is a wonderful new thing. It never happens that way, okay? They possess these technologies for years and do all kinds of things with them, try to implement them in every way, master them, benefit from them, manipulate them, encode them with secret access to people's informations, all kinds of things before they're ever, ever even mentioned or given access to anyone in the public. So think carefully, guys. I'm not saying that there's something any individual can do to change all of this, but collectively, it just takes one person, one person at a time to start thinking for themselves, waking up and stop being a fucking bitch. Stop being so fucking soft and speak your fucking mind and start telling the people around you when they're fucking wrong. All right? There's no such thing as being mean in life or giving a fuck about hurting someone's feelings. If they're wrong, they're wrong. If you love someone, the best thing you can do is hit them with the fucking brutal, honest truth, no matter how much it hurts. The worst thing you can do is to continue to let them be as they are when they need to be corrected in whatever way. So I hope you guys can give this some thought. You know, I know that I'm nobody to tell anyone what to do in their lives. I'm nobody to tell you how to think, how to act, but... I think at least what I've said about your own beliefs and you thinking carefully, researching, studying, analyzing, using your own logic and coming up with your own conclusions that make sense to you, I think at least we could agree that that makes sense. That will be of benefit to you. And just start thinking differently as far as the information you're being given. Stop believing it's true. Think of it like a storybook. It's like a TV show. It's a stage. You know, Shakespeare said it. The world is but a stage and we are all players. It's all fucking fake. All right? So I hope you guys got something good out of this. Um, today is Christmas Eve. I wish you a Merry Christmas. All the best to all you guys. I have nothing but love for all of you. I'm so grateful for all your support. And I hope that this year is better for all of us in every way possible. Thank you.